Hey guys, welcome back to Silent Hill The Short Message. This is going to be the final part in this little let's play. Uh, we're at chapter 3, the final uh, loop. As you can see, Anita is currently in the other world, or it's her version of the other world. Um, so let's see what we can find out here and see what we can finish the game. February 4th. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls kill themselves here. All teens supposedly know this place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Went down from the roof. I really was scared. Of jumping away from something or to something. Hmm. Let's keep going. Better than ever. Hmm. So, fun fact about this part: there is going to be a a very certain moment, a certain moment during this this section, where we'll find a note, and it will drastically change the entire canon of the Silent Hill universe in a single go. I'll point it out when we get to it, but in the meantime, let's just enjoy the look. God, this game is so Don't atmospheric. Still more mommy issues. Stack it. Also, <coughs> no way to go that way. Sorry for coughing. No way for the future. And her psychology is really good with her. Trying to open. Take a moment. Is there another blocked area here? Yep, no exit. Meant that literally and figuratively. Her phone's in the center. I wonder why. I wonder if I remember that <coughs> monster again. It's locked. And of course it is. A couple of bottles of, or a bottle of wine or something. Table. A bear. And some drawings. Okay. okay. Here we go. <laughs> I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I only thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost her. I still have my <coughs> children, my cute little angels who went. 
So she said children, more than one. So do we have a sub? Maybe? So we'll find out. Oh, here we go. Endlessly repeating doors and hallways. It's PT all over again. And we got sure to close. Yep, called it. Oh, it's a little dirtier. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? I'm assuming that voice is her mother. She's also apparently really terrible at cleaning. Jesus. My new man showed up with one twist of pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of her family. We're smiling, holding hands. I wish she wouldn't have drawn him as well. I wish she would have. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join her family. She is slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass him soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. Nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate or fear. Oh, well, we'll see how that goes. Did that shrink? I feel like my character is smaller. Oh, never mind. So we have a bedroom. He showed up again. He smiled on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her anything she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things. I hated it when I was a kid, but I guess it had to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. That's you know, probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. What kind of twisted logic is that? He told me that the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Ah, she locked him in the closet. That's... wholesome. Yeah, the character is shrinking. What the hell? That's weird. And that is... Dis God, that's bad. <coughs> so everything seems to be going well now that we've been going on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. There should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Oh, a couple weeks later. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is enjoying life, but I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the bad guy? July. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. That's a baby in the fridge? She didn't put a baby in the fridge again, did she? That's kind of terrible. Stop. I don't remember if anyone's ever played the part in PT where you come across the uh, other screaming baby in a refrigerator. Yeah, this is just as unsettling as that. You've reached, no, oh, Miss Krista Planert. I need a planner. You reached out to your poor, you've received a response. You take this to mean the even intention of remedying the issue. 
you're in violation of German Civil Code Article blah 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 blah. According to the federal court, it's instructed us to take children. If you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher, Child Welfare Center. Okay. God, that's horrible. So Anita does have a sibling. Well, this part's interesting. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, a person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding him a body. A person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And if she noticed he wasn't moving the next day, she had his life in the fridge. Oh my god. So Anita's brother was killed by her mother. For an investigation, person A's daughter ran to the nearest house to call the police and report. Her mother, according to Black, when detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the fridge. And she was the crime. So, August 2012. So, this is <sighs> about eight or nine years ago. Anita was maybe nine or ten, or around that. You just me again. You guys see through the slits in the closet, you can actually see it's the Sakura monster. understand why Anita's been through such a traumatic episode in her life. I can understand how that would impact her. <sighs> why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Looks like we're back to normal size. Okay, that's that's a little morbid. Putting a baby doll in the freezer. Uh, here we go. Okay, I think this is where we have to find the five photos. Um, and it'll unlock the door to get us out of here. Excuse me, one second. I really like what you drew me way back. So soft, yeah. Hi. A little bit of space, thank you. That's fun, that's fun. You're into two. art, right? You could audit an art class.
But uh, that was the longest part of this one. I got lost on, I got lost on in the last playthrough and I still wasn't able to find it until after I died once, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to repeat this, so I'll just keep working.
really close. Oh my god, she's like super kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I need to find any questions if I have it, let's go. Alright, this looks promising. I don't know if it stops chasing us after we find the last photo, but I don't know if it does. First, I'm really absorbed my work lately. I had to paint the girl who jumped off the villa. I feel like this, they left this place for something better. I think I might be able to free my, to be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I put everything, every last bit of myself into this piece. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement, but once that is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it's always there. Who knows how often it will show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. Uh... That would have been Amelie, with the exception of I need to keep enough from her. March seventeenth. Wait. So. She killed herself half a year ago. Then that means I've been here this whole time. What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please end this. Just let me die. Okay, so February 21st to 
March 13th. It's only like two and a half weeks. She was one day. All right. So considering I probably might have skipped it, there is a note that I want to point out that I found that is actually really um intense. Not intense in the concept of like it's bad, but it's uh it's kind of you know kind of an interesting bit of bit of lore. So this one is titled "The Silent Hill Phenomenon." And basically, it states that the suicide rate has increased around the world in large part due to the struggles brought on by COVID-19, with countries still unsure on the best hand to handle the issue. These strange times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. This has come to be known as the Silent Hill Phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in the eponymous U.S. town, i.e. Silent Hill. First, to propose a theory explaining what this could be happening is Dr. Blank, a social psychologist at Blank University. I don't know why it's they're X'd out. That's strange. Who had the following to say on the matter? To one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions. When in a high state of stress, one's vision may become obscured or tunneled, as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we're seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. XXX calls for a rapid rebuilding of society, as well as stronger emphasis on counseling and mental health care for the young. So, where do I even start with this? So, from a lore perspective, you could kind of say that this acts as sort of a bridge between, and it gives validity to what happened in Silent Hill 1 through 4. Um, it bridges the Western developed titles, so Downpour, Homecoming. It grants all of them, you know, legitimacy as just something being that just happened in their head. Um, because if you look at Shepherd's Glen, everything that happened in Homecoming, every, in the Downpour, these people could have been considered mentally unstable. Travis, though, from like Origins, I don't know if that could really count, but that could could also be placed in that sort of pool too. Um, so I think Konami, or rather Hexadrive, when they developed this, added this little note as a way to kind of bridge. The past few games, you know, Silent Hill 1 through 4, and create a bridge to future games. Because by the end of Silent Hill 4, the Order, or the, the Cult's basically dead, they're gone. Dahlia's dead after the first game. Um, uh, what's her name? Is uh, I forgot it, her name. The, the lady from the third game, she's dead. She was um, Vincent Wolf's daughter, Claudia, Claudia Wolf. She, she's, she's dead. Um, the dark power of the gods of the of, of Silent Hill are all, you know, presumably dead. As because I mean, by by that point, the town is in ruins. By the end of four, you don't even go there in Silent Hill four. But at this point, you know, there is a in-universe context that shows that there is an other world. That there is a like a demon realm where Valtiel and all of them live, and you know they exist. Um, this this what this what this note brings about is that it, it creates a context for Silent Hill 2. Mainly that since Silent Hill 2 uh, largely was a psychological game in the context that it was very, you know, it was very driven, you know, by James's own, you know, psychological guilt from what happened to Mary and what he did, you know, he killed her. You know, and the psychosexual stuff that happened, you know, in terms of how Pyramid Head manifests, the 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 monster creatures manifest and what they represent to James. You know, this, this, what this note could be pointing is to what happened to James and maybe by extension, you know, the uh, some other Silent Hill standalone games like Homecoming and all that. Um, I'm not really sure and I really don't know how to actually place this, but what I feel that this note really represents is that it adds context to what happened to James it vol validates the events of Silent Hills 1, 3, and 4. And it can act as a bridge for future games that should Konami want to beat them. I think it actually adds a really smart lore piece. Um, because I still think that the events of what happened in the other world of Silent Hills 1 through 4 did, did happen. Like that, that 
that other world exists, you know, all the monsters and stuff. But I'd like to think that it exists differently and that they could manifest on people who, I guess as this note would call them, as um, psychologically unstable, you know, could trigger, you know, this sort of stuff to happen. So I don't, I don't think it's just because, you know, it's just because they're, they're, they're just having trauma. I think it's because it's a mixture of the other world influence that's leading for this to happen. And that's my thought on one of the weirdest but most important notes probably in all of the Silent Hill lore. So I'm going to drop that and we'll continue the game. Uh, the Skezenbook. We got Cherry Blossoms. Uh, I think Anita might be on the way. I'm not sure. Oh no, that's on. I don't know. I can't. That's my, I think, without the glasses though. That's a guy, she, uh, Maya Link. Same guy. Maybe her, I don't know. And a sketch of what she drew on the roof. Family. Is this? And Anita. Me? When did she draw this? <laughs> I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did. Ah, uh, you're just jealous and you couldn't see it. Oh, that's depressing. She was jealous for nothing. She hid back Maya's plea for help, and she accidentally killed herself. Or, she, not accidentally, she did kill herself. And Like, God. I don't know. I think that being the message of Silent Hill, you know, uh, Silent Hill was short message. It's a dark and dreary story, but it's 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 a good one, I think. I think it's really powerful, at least in parts. But um let's save my final thoughts after we after we complete it. Let's see what we can find out. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. she feels about herself. Hmm. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Emily, what should I do? There's a light of hope at the end of the tunnel. Huh. Hey, symbolism, a light at the end of the tunnel. Let's keep going. Always there for me. 
I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Don't do it. Don't actually do it. Come on. Oh, that's sweet. That's a good ending. I like it. <laughs> Amelie got her cry for help. Someone listened and responded. Or Anita, not Amelie. I really feel bad for Anita. She went through so much bad stuff. And she made a mistake, but I think she can learn and grow from it. That's a good ending. That's sweet. This is... This is... Oh, man. I don't even know where to start. I really do think the short message is a strong... Seeking a connection oh. with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. Oh, until this part's over. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. It comes full circle. It's a good. It's a good ending. Motoi Okamoto. He's the current producer. Kichi Kano. Alter Suzu LC. Rika Miyata. Tatsuya Namba. Suzuya. Suzuya Namba. Junya Morita. Kirayama Oka. Masahiro Ito, still doing his thing. Moving day. It feels kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. Well, Amelie and Anita did, did leave together. So I'm gonna skip this part mainly just because I, I don't like the, the song. The ending song isn't particularly good. It's joyful. Little ending. At least not joyful, but hopeful. I guess would be a better word for it. Um, and that concludes my playthrough. Silent Hill: The Short Message. Um. What do I what do I feel? Well, overall, I guess I would say it is the very best Silent Hill related anything we've gotten since God PT almost a decade ago, back in 2014. Um, I have to admit it's um it's got some sensitive subject matter. It's a little it's a little strong. It's a little it's a little heartbreaking at parts, but I think it's got a nice hopeful message, and I think it sets a really good precedent for the future. Of, of new Silent Hill projects, you know, Silent Hill F, the two remake. Regardless of what you think about Bloober Team, I, I trust them to make a decent product. I mean, I love the medium. But, um, yeah. That is Silent Hill The Short Message, and thank you for joining me on this little Let's Play. Have a good night. <laughs>